Hi Ramani Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In this video I'll be solving remaining sums of miscellaneous exercise 8 from unit number 8 that is projection of a side of a triangle Question number 7 in a triangle A is equal to 17 cm B is equal to 15 cm and C is equal to 8 cm find measure angle A In this question we don't have to find any kind of projection we just have to find one angle so we'll be using the previous concept that was studied in grade 9 that a let a, B, C are the sides of triangle, right? Or the sides of triangle A, B, C. And here if you see A is the longest side and A is the longest side. So if A square is equal to B square plus C square, if this condition is get satisfied, then the triangle is right triangle, right angle triangle, okay. So, we'll be applying the condition. Let's see if it is true or not. So, A is equal to here is 17. We'll be taking the square. Then B becomes, B is 15 square plus C is 8 square. So, 17 square is 289, 15 square is 225 and 8 is 64. So, if you add up the two values, you will be getting 289. So, this means the triangle that is given to us is a right angle triangle, right? And we also know, let's draw it the right angle triangle. Okay. So, we'll also, we can also label this right angle triangle. How we are going to label it? Since A is equal to 17 and in right angle triangle, the largest side is considered to be as high hypotenuse. So, this is going to be A which is 17 and opposite to A will be its vertex capital A, right? And the other two sides automatically, uh, automatically will become B and C. So, I'll be taking this as B and this as capital C. So, this is going to be small c which is going to be 8 centimeter and this is going to be small c which is given to us as 15 centimeter, right? And the other thing we also know that that hypotenuse the side the longest side lies on the opposite side of 90 degree angle so this means measure angle a is equal to 90 degree right so this is going to be the answer now in question number eight the same question is given to us but in that question let's say if i'll solve it over here question number eight the same measurements are given to us and we have to find the angle b measure angle b we have to find this means this angle we need to find in question number eight right since this is a right angle triangle we can start question number eight also from here right from the start right if question number seven is not given to us and just question number eight is given to us then we'll be solving the sum right from the start just to identify that these are the values of right angle triangle or not so now how we are going to find measure angle b since this is, these are the values of right angle triangle, so we can apply trigonometric ratio and we'll be writing it down that cos theta is equal to, this will be taken as theta, curly brown hairs, so this is base and this is going to be the hypotenuse, 8 over 17, right? And theta is going to be cos inverse of 8 by 17 and when you will apply the calculator, measure angle B is equal to theta and that is going to be 61.9 degree, right? So, this is going to be the answer. Now, in question number, uh, if you see question number 10, right? Question number 10 may, what they have asked, same measurements are, sorry, same measurements are given to us in question number 10. Same measurements are given to us and they have asked us to identify, let's say measurements are given to us as 8, 15 centimeter and 17 centimeter and they have asked us to identify whether the triangle where these sides are of the triangle of acute angle triangle obtuse angle triangle or right angle triangle right so we'll be applying right angle triangle so we'll be applying the same relation that is longest side is given to us as this 17 is as c or these are the these are going to be a and b so we are going to be applying this right or if you can say uh, let's say again here c side hai hamare paas the longest side so we'll be applying that c square is equal to a square plus b square ban jata hai c is going to be 17 square a square is going to be 15 square sorry 8 square 
and b square is going to be 15 square so you just have to simplify it just to check it whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side so this is going to be the measurements of the right angle triangle in question number nine whether the triangle with sides 5 7 and 8 is acute or obtuse or right angle right so if we are going to apply this same condition let it be a b and c and if our condition is a square let's say c square is equal to a square plus b square then it is going to be the right triangle then if c square is less than a square plus b square then this is going to be acute angle triangle and if c square is greater than a square plus b square then this is going to be obtuse angle triangle right so let's start uh, let if c and if this only condition satisfy if c is longest right so here c is longest is at a 8 square right then let's say uh, then it's going to be 5 square plus 7 square it is going to be 64 and it is going to be 25 plus that of 49 and this is going to be you can say 74 so if you see when you add up the two added up the two equations so you have pass less than ho gaya. c square is less than of a square plus a square plus b square so you have pass kaun sa angle ban gaya? acute angle triangle right so this is going to be the answer thank you i hope you understand the sum thank you so very much allah office